Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Season 9 of Rag to Riches, Episode 2. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get started once again and push for more tasks to get completed. And we are going to do that just today and get, hopefully, everything done. It's kind of the goal. At least these four tasks is what I'm going to try to get done today. I'm going to be going, I believe, over to Interchange today for the beginning. We're going to go see if we can find those gas analyzers. And hopefully we can get lucky and find some other loot as well. So I'm thinking, I did say I was going to bring the shotgun in, but I'm going to change it up a little. I'm going to bring in Sega 9. Get this thing repaired. Bring the extra magazine in and we'll grab a little bit of the extra ammo. Cool. Good enough right there. Uh, we're going to go over to like Ollie and see if we can go to the front of the store and see if we can locate two of the gas analyzers. I only need one at the moment, but I would like to try to obviously find both at the same time. Beyond that, I think I'm going to have to bring some food in with us, too, because in change, most of the food's upstairs, and I don't think I have anything upstairs that I need to go for. Obviously, in change, there's no task for us to work on just yet, but it does provide a lot of places for us to loot and get some good stuff. And, of course, we need to be looking out for Jaeger because I need to hopefully get a chance to buy his shotguns. They're still not available, which is expected. I think it's restart. When do you reset? I got an hour. So in an hour, I have to be back at the spot and hopefully buy two of the shotguns or at least one of them and we'll try to do that we're also while we're in, on interchange we're going to be looking for some of the elite pliers and hopefully some screwdrivers because if we go over to our man mechanic scroll down a little bit i really like how that loads because it loads a lot better this trader right here will also help us out too so it only takes two elite pliers and a screwdriver and we have ourselves a mp133 shotgun and of course so hopefully we can find like a scab or something with a shotgun it would just make our lives a lot easier but that being said we're gonna be heading out to interchange first beyond that most likely we'll be going over to customs once we finish up debut and a few other tasks and of course reserves probably in the list i am going back to streets today i had so much fun on streets that i'm going to be going back to that once again today so we got a lot of things planned for today and i hope you're ready are you ready? Okay, let's do this. Uh, I wonder, I'm gonna check this because I didn't actually check this on Woods yesterday. Are the spawns still the same for the stashes? They're not, or they're not in. I have not seen them. Okay, that's different. Let's keep going, let's keep going. I'm gonna check the computers as well. You know, never know, you never know. Maybe get lucky with a random gas analyzer. All right, I guess uh, <laughs> GPU is what I meant to say. And actually I'll take the hard drives. Because if I get lucky, you know, to grab a couple other things, maybe I get DVD drive and get a bigger backpack and whatnot, so that'll help us out. Got the matches. Check everything. Check these as well. Keep looking for everything. I'm happy when we got this extract, or the extract that we got. We got the Emercom one, which is really nice. Hello. Hello, hello. I will not say no to a little bit of intelligence. That's actually really, really nice. So we're gonna go now on our intelligence center. Don't need that. Let's check this one. I gotta also check keys too. Or check pockets for keys. You're definitely gonna need a ton of them. I don't know what the percentage chance is to find a gas analyzer inside of the toolboxes, but we'll check them all while we're in here. Screws. No jackets there. Okay, so they are a little more dynamic. Are they in here? Oh, maybe there's just a chance for them not to spawn. Yeah, there could just be a chance of not spawning. This is weird. It's weird. It, it, I gotta get wrap my brain around that. It's like, okay, you just may never see it there because it just may not have a chance to spawn. I like it. It just, you know, getting used to that fact. We got, we got some bolts. Nice. I am going to also attempt to do a little bit more on the... I'm not even going to go to my left. Um, I'm going to attempt to try to do a little bit more on the hideout as well today. Because I know I said we were, that wasn't really our main focus. But at the same time, I do need to start working towards getting the next stash upgrade. I don't expect to get to like, like, like the Edge of Darkness type of size like anytime soon. But if I can at least get a few upgrades would be nice. At least the first one. Because it will definitely help us in the long run. No bag there. The bag is down there. Though. That's good. Okay. We're going to go along the edges here and see if we can find more elite pliers. And also find screwdrivers. I would like to find like three elites and also 
two screwdrivers. That would be kind of like what we're hoping for. And just loot everything. Loot everything. Get as much XP as possible. We can do a fight. We can do a fight. Toolboxes down there. Got some shooting going on in here. We can also check the food in the back too, since we're here. See if we can find any of the beef. That's elite. Very nice. And I'm going to go back to that tool kit, to a box in a second as well. But I'm going to check. I'm going to guess people are going to be over in this section though. I'm going to be a little bit cautious about that. At least I would expect some people to be over here. Got drinks. I'm specifically looking for two cans of beef. I'll grab a few other small things just along the way for metabolism. Got some water too. Come on, cans of beef. Our, our luck ran out on that one. <laughs> they, uh, I don't think the ammo was going through. That dude was sprinting. Yeah, I only hit him three times. He absorbed most of the damage from the armor. I must have hit him in the head because I hit him pretty hard. Probably hit him for three shots. All good. All good. He was hitting me with PS rounds. Okay, let's get some stuff set up then. Uh, I think if I remember right, yeah, this will go on there. So I'm going to save the AK-105. So when we go over to Woods, we'll have the weapon that we'll need. Take a lot of this stuff off here as well. And actually, I'm going to take one of these CMS kits because I have a feeling I'm going to need it in the future. We'll take one of these. Take the mag. I need to sell some stuff. Lupo's beans, I'm going to find a million of those things. So I'm going to sell it. Ugh! Click on so many things. Sell those. Sell the keck tape for now. And then let's go over back over to Prapper and get some ammo. Yeah, let's buy some tea ammo. Let's go like 80. That'd be fine. Just give us something. And then we're gonna take this out, load it up. And then where's the rest of the tea ammo? There it is. Cool. Now I got 71,000 to work with. I think I have just enough for armor. So we'll buy this guy. I have 23. I could sell something. Sell the power bank. Don't need the power bank anytime soon, so we'll sell that. And then we can go over to Prapor. In Prapor, I need to buy a lot. Yeah, no, it is Prapor. I need to buy the helmet. And this time, hit my shots. Hit my shots when we're shooting at somebody. And where'd the armor go? There it is. There it is. We'll take in the scav backpack. No headphones, but that's fine. Let me mobilize splints as well. Let's take the car med kit. We go four, five, six. And then we'll toss this out and then I'll take one of the these guys and put it inside there just in case. All right, let's go attempt that one more time. It's a little bit small detail, but it's kind of cool that um, the raid timer, it only takes you like eight seconds now to get into a raid versus having to wait the full 20 seconds. So that's pretty nice. Get straight into the action. Get this thing on full auto. And we're Ollie, so we can go straight up and see if we can find those gas analyzers. Hopefully we can find them. If I actually do find them, like if I find both of them, because that would just be a really big win for us. Uh, I'm not actually opposed to dropping the scab backpack. I know some of you probably be like, we'll just keep looting everything. Um, I'd rather save certain items. Okay. 
that. So yeah, I'm not opposed to that. I, I will be more than happy to get rid of it if I have to. Sure, it was a 153 that was shooting at me. Probably went inside. Yep, he did. Yeah, one five three. Don't need you, but thank you. Sure. I'm gonna get quickly loaded up here. Just in case I get into a fight with one of the players that are coming in from the back of the mall. you got pretty much just taking anything I can get my hands on at the moment just have extra ammo check it check it check it take you take the moolah probably should take the bag right yeah probably be smart why not let's keep looking I'm not seeing the analyzer. So that means we're going to go check the tech areas. Ooh, spooky scary. Although it sounds like most like people, people are all like outside at the moment, so. Oh boy, we get shot from mine. Keep moving, I'm not in good protection. Now I am. He'll move forward towards us, but I'm going to keep checking. Nothing, 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 nothing there. I guess we are going upstairs. Oh no, it's a, it was a scab. All right, never mind. Spark plug. We'll need you at some point. I think I, yep, I, nope, that's not a scab. I thought it was an analyzer for a minute. No. I look like an analyzer on the side for a minute. Nothing. Okay, let's let's backtrack and go upstairs. Yeah, let's backtrack here a little bit. Let's go this way. We can check the last tech room and see if there's a chance that it's up there. I didn't even look at that. I literally hit oh and didn't check. Railway, okay. We do have hole in the fence. Got light bulbs. I do need light bulbs and wires for the next thing for the. Ooh, actually, I don't want that. Um, for the next thing for hideout. Take you. I have a feeling I'm gonna. Oh, never mind. Never yeah, mind. I don't get it. Nobody does. There we go. Okay. Let's start heading towards the front. I'm going to take that. Uh, I got to check my energy. Okay. We somewhat need food. We'll, we'll hit up some of the food over here. But I'm going to take that. I only need one technically right now that I'll need to get two later on. But if I can at least secure one of them, that will be very helpful to us. I'm just going to grab whatever I can. And stuff like the badges and anything that's like really like common inside of the the saves, I'm gonna sell. So like the sheriff's badge, like sheriff Eli's badge, I'll end up selling that. Because I know I'm gonna find more of those inside of the the safes. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna just take those more often. More armor. I don't think I'm gonna take any of this. No, I'm not going to take any of this. Although, I'll take the better armor so it doesn't cost me as much in repairs. Okay. Ah, 
Oh no, come back. You have what I need. Do I have a second weapon right now? I do. Get rid of that. Gimme. And we're definitely getting out of here. I guess the front of the mall will have to do. I was waiting for it too. I was like, is he gonna just like start spamming at me? And then I heard the one and nothing else. So I'm like, all right, we got ourselves the 133 shotgun, which we need that. And then one more after that. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. Go, 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 go. I'm gonna load up the other mag though before we keep moving. Get that loaded. Oof. All right. That's an eight rounder too. Oof. Those are nice. If it was a one five three, it'd be really really nice, but it's not. So we're not worried about it. Keep an eye to our left, to our right. I'm excited though, especially since we are going for the Kappa. Um, we do have a lot of tasks that we've never really done before. I shouldn't say really did. We've never done before, like the lighthouse stuff, we never got to. And that is my goal to get to that. Because I would love to check out those task lines. And the island just, as far as I've been told, the island is like just cr cracked with loot. So it'd be kind of cool to get our, you know, ourselves over there and check it out for the first time. Check this. Oh, we got some stuff. Nice. Oh, can I not wear it the same? Oh, well, I'm definitely not taking off the helmet. I can tell you that. Oh, I could do this. Let's not get shot in the head, please. Yeah, let's do this. How about that? We'll take it. We'll take it. And I, this run right here is going to really, like, solidify whether or not the stashes are, like, changed up. At some point, obviously, there'll be a map and everything for us to to know where everything's at. But I'm going to check over here because I'm guessing this is not here as well. Do, 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 do. And, yeah, definitely not here. All right. I almost feel, though, that maybe, well... I was gonna say maybe I don't feel like that's a really good change with the stashes at least being moved, but maybe it is. Maybe it, maybe it's it'll help people to stop doing the same loot routes over and over and over in like the same common thing. So, you know, I'm retracting my thought. It's a good thing. Let's watch out for any unsuspected players trying to screw with us. This is the part where I don't like being out in the open, but we gotta go. And of course, gotta watch out for those campers on the other side. Nobody on that one. Watch our legs for any people shooting shotguns at us. This happened multiple times in this extract, but I think we're going to be okay. We're good. We're good. And that's a gas analyzer that we're going to be able to turn in and continue moving on. I think right after this, though, I don't even have like the stuff available to turn in for the task. So, hey, it's whatever. 2600 XP. I will take it. Good amount of shots. Level five. Level five. We're almost to the point where we can't get free, like, meds at the end. So, we'll see what happens. Let's go talk to therapists. Therapists. Well, that's nice. It takes you out of your inventory. That's actually really, really nice quality of life. I'm happy about that. Turn that in. We get ourselves the car med kits now available to purchase. Very, very cool. Can I not do anything now? Oh, I probably have to get higher level. Hey, we're beating the system. I like it. Find and transfer. Ooh, light bulbs. And I think I have both of those. Let's accept that. Oh, no, I don't. Well, we'll look, we'll look out for them. That's actually a decent amount of money. Some good X, XP with that. I'll take it. Woods. I'm going to hold off on that because I don't really need to go to woods for anything. Eliminate two scabs. On customs. I could do that. I could definitely do that. Skier, you have the task available. So, supplier, I can literally get you done now, which is really, really nice. Turn in and turn in. Complete that. Can't do anything else with you right now. Okay. 
Let's get all the stuff dropped off. Drop off. Actually, I need you. Put that back there. A bunch of other stuff we need to drop. Good little run. Oh, I got to turn the shotgun as well. And I need to grab some more ammo as well. Yeah, let's go buy some ammo quickly from Crap War. Let's buy like another 60. Where's my ammo? Ammo. There you are. How about check fence real quick? So you wouldn't sell any elite pliers or like any junk that I can buy. Doesn't look like granted I can sit here all day long, let this thing reload. But we're not gonna do that. Oh, they're both sold out. Look at that. People have found buckwheat and they're like, oh, we're taking that immediately. But prepper, I can turn in the first shotgun at least, get that first one done. And then we just need to find one more. One more shotgun. Grab all rewards from that one. And then also from Skier. Grab that as well. Now, let's go look at our tasks for what we've got next. We need to find the shotgun. We gotta do the, the 133 shotgun mod as well. And we need to find the food. Why don't we then, since we need to go get a bunch of food and whatnot. I was about to say, let's go to reserve. I kind of want to go over to streets right now and have a little bit of fun with that. Hmm. Choices, choices, choices. I think reserves are our best bet. Let's go to reserve, see if we can even get more like medical supplies, find some morphine for the future and look for that food. Let's do it. We had our first, like, I guess you can call it lost in raid because I could not load into the map and had to restart the game and came back to having no scav. Or not scav, not scav, but no PMC. So that was fun. I had to rebuy everything. I'll give you a quick shot. That's what we got. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Oh, well, we move forward. Uh, we need to get to the underground because we need to get ourselves the food that we we're talking about. And uh, hopefully some more beyond that. Let's get some food in us. Good, good, good. Good to go for a, little, a second at least. Kind of want to go through the White Knight and check some of the stuff here. We might as well. I mean, we're right next to it anyway. And players are going to be as to the other stuff, so. Armor repair kit, by the way, and there's two people in there. Oh, crap. I didn't bring my extra ammo. That's really bad. Well, it's a good thing we're on reserve. You know, it has about a million different ammo like spawns, so. Yeah, gotta have to look up for some ammo now. I don't know how I forgot my ammo. That's a little bit awkward, to say the least. But it's fine. It's fine. May just honestly get out with the armor repair kit. That's kind of really nice. Save a lot of money for quite a while. Check these. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, may you honestly just get out with this. Got a manhole, clip descent, blah, blah, blah. Kind of hoping someone hits the alarm. What do we got? Nope. Any grenades over here? Okay, be careful, the white knight. Obviously, because that guy threw a grenade at us. All right, let's keep moving. Somebody firing off a lot of bullets in that direction. Is someone the Black Knight?
Don't know if he's got a friend or not. His, his ammo because I'm low. I need to move this here, move this there. Screwdriver, nice. I'll take that. Drop that. Ooh, he's got the other elite, so that means I got the shotgun. I kind of want to get out of here. Let's go turn on the Hermetic. Okay. I'm going to unload this. Actually, how much is in there? Fewer than half. Let's get this loaded up quickly. Go, 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 go. Triple check D2. Okay, so D2 hasn't been activated yet. Shooting me. I gotta stop. Armor kits are really, really heavy. What I have to try to do is go straight ahead. All right, let's go. spot for sure keep going keep going I gotta get behind this first Alarm never gets old, does it? <laughs> Trying to think what I want to do here. I may just try to walk it the rest of the way and then run it into the run it into the actual bunker. I gotta kind of sprint. Because I'm just over capacity. It'll take me over to walk there. I always forget the timing on how long it takes the hermetic to turn off. Let's get in here. Oof. I have a feeling this is going to be close. Should be able to walk it the rest of the way.
Cool. Oh, oh, not bad. Not bad. I'll take that. That's actually really, really good for us. Like I said, we just need one elite and one screwdriver. So now we've got ourselves the last 133 shock and we need. That's really, really good for us. Which means it's going to open up a bunch of different tasks for us to work on, which means we're going to customs. Because my original worry was that it was going to take us forever to get certain keys. Like it's going to take forever probably to get the unknown key. Just because it, it honestly does take forever. I didn't check the other guy because he was in the middle of the... He was in the middle of the floor. I didn't want to actually try to deal with that. All right, not bad. I'll take it. Okay, let's go over to mechanic. Mechanic, I need to get that shotgun from you. I need to actually pull it off. Boom, boom. There we go. Now I can go talk to mechanic and say, I'd like to buy your shotgun. Thank you very much. And take off a few of these items because I can use these for later. Take this off and take this off and this off. I'd like to keep the plastic rail, but actually, could I buy the regular rail and replace it? Let me do that. Did any of you sell that? Because I would actually really like that because I'm like, well, I could always just try to get another one of the shotguns anyway. I don't think any of these guys sell it. Do you sell the mechanic? I mean, I, you may actually sell it. Mmm. Doesn't look like you do. Skier, I don't think you do either. I already checked it, but I was triple checking. You don't. Okay. Not a huge deal. Crapport, I have a shotgun for you. I would like to turn the well, actually, do I even need it on there? You're probably just gonna yell at me. Yep, it's gonna yell at me. <laughs> Get it back on there. Although it, he's got a trade. Where is the trade? I know you get a trade. Yeah, you get the trade. So I only need a hard drive for the plastic, so it's fine. So let's go prep for it. Let's go tasks. Turn in the task. My friend, enjoy it. Enjoy it. And I get to back up. Oh, I got to complete it. Ah, there we go. Search mission. We'll accept that. And we also have checking for the bronze pocket watch. I kind of feeling like I want to go do this part as well on woods first. Plus, we also have a task for woods, don't we? For extracting. We do. A little bit of XP, a little bit of money. Why not? And this actually opened up. This is the task for the, I believe it's the, yeah, for the water. We have to go locate the water. We need the 206 key, which we don't have at the moment, which again, we'll keep picking up piles of meds and we should be able to slowly but surely get that, get that turned in. I'm not going to bring in the AK-105 just yet, like we were discussing before. And that's just simply because we don't need to just yet. Drink all this up, drop all this other stuff off. Um, we don't need it just yet. Uh, because we're not working any of the kills of scavs and whatnot, so I don't want to waste it just yet. Uh, all that extra ammo. There's the extra ammo. I want to buy some more, too. Let's reload this. Get that on there. This doesn't go on there, will it? No, I need a different attachment for that. We got armor repair kit, like I said. That is pretty amazing. I'm happy with that one. This doesn't go on. Oh, it does. Ooh. I'm going to test it. I just want to see how it works. Maybe it'll actually be very useful to us. Get these dropped off as well. Splints, get rid of you. Let's go buy some more ammo. Let's buy like 90. Bring all the extra ammo I can. Can't bring a ton, but I can bring a little bit. That's and where's the other one? Where did it go? I'm blind. There's the other TM. Okay. Get that in there. You know what? Bring the splints. Bring the splints just in case. And then we can do, we can test this out now. Our repair kit. Oh, I can't even do it yet because it's. Oh! Missing the required hideout zone for repair. Okay, that's fine. We'll take a look and see which one we need exactly. But it, but proper. Thank you. Get that repaired. Yeah, we'll see. But let's go over to woods. Let's go get the compass taken care of and also get the extract done. Check out this headlamp. See how it goes. Well, we got the spawn farthest away from the objective, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll make it there. I'm not really sure what we can loot in between. Granted, we can go over like the FOV or, you know, some other places. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to like, loop around, like through the rock area and whatnot. And see if we can just kill a bunch of scabs. I guess right now we'll focus on XP and getting the task done. 
seems like a relatively good plan, in my opinion. So we'll do that. Kind of regretting not bringing the other rifle. But at the same time, it'll be nice having that ready. Yeah, that's a scav. Yeah, it looks like a scav. My dude, you're just eating shots in the back. <laughs> Where'd you go? Okay. Stop running. Stay still. Oh, did he go in the bunker? He may have gone inside the bunker. That was not my plan to let him run that. Whoop. That would explain why, because he's got it. He's got good armor on. I'm like, why is this guy not dying? Taking so many shots. We'll switch over to the other rifle anyway. It's a rough condition, though. Mm, I'm not gonna take the armor. Right, let's look down here. Check what we got. Clearly, T ammo was not penetrating at all. Like, it was just dinking off of it. It was just like, ping, ping, ping. Like, oh, you trying to kill me, huh? Not gonna worry. It is super dark. Oh, hey, hey. Look at that. I knew there was a reason why I brought the headlamp. Because I was like, I'm not going at night. But maybe I can get lucky with, like, some player coming at me or something. I, I can use it for, you know, protection. Anything else in here? Does not look like it. All right, let's keep moving. We got a low gun. What was that? Did anyone see that? I don't have the headlamp on right now, but do you see the thing on my right? <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. Not like life flashed before my eyes. I'm like, is that a player? All right, anyway, moving on from that little mini heart attack. Yeah, I think this is going to be the best plan going all the way around. We're going to also run to the path a bunch of scabs, so this is good. Need backpacks. Sometimes the backpack spawns here. Ooh, take that, though. Thank you. Let's keep moving. I kind of miss the old extract. You get like for those that have been playing Tarkov for quite a while, you probably know about the old extract with the Red Rebel here. I do miss that. It'd be nice if they would integrate that again. Because what is it? Right now we've only got two maps that actually use the thing. It's reserve and forgive the name, forgive the name. Lighthouse. So it'd be nice to like some more options to use. Drop that. Take that. Let's get the mags for it. You feel like I'm hearing somebody, but I don't think I am. Come on. 
Вот, вот! Okay, another dead scav. What you have in it? Nothing? Get it out of here. Yeah, I'm not going to take it. Cool, cool. A little small upgrades, I'll take them. If the sniper scavs up, they'll be a little more XP as well. Now, I could have done it the opposite way of this, where I could have gone, got the bronze buckle watch first, and then came to woods, because I'm pretty sure that will open up like. Uh, shootout picnic and whatnot, but I'd rather just get this one done. Get a little bit of money, a little bit of extra money and whatnot. Can't see him from his angle, but I'm not too worried about him. Let's keep zooming. We got uh, quite a while to go. Cause I got to go this direction. I got to get to the vehicles first, and then go to the USEC camp, and then I got to go all the way over to the the outskirts so i've got a quite a quite a like run to go so let's get moving all right should be coming up on the vehicles in just a second i need to also make sure while we're at the usec camp that we uh grab some food because we're doing okay for the moment but gonna need the food pretty pretty soon just to keep ourselves going i mean we have the water bottle which is nice so it'll keep us going for a bit for the hydration and a little bit of energy but i like to be a little bit more safer than that across here hoping no one looted it though i mean that's a wild thing because i'm sure people have already gone through that place but cross your fingers friends we're hoping that we can get all the loot from that maybe some from over here because you can get some okay stuff from over here get like some sailor was by the dead bodies so there's some options let's go take a look through nothing in I don't know if it's a scab or a player, so I'm gonna kind of back it up. Rather be safe than sorry. Let's head over to USEC. If it is a player, they're probably gonna come in this direction anyway, so we'll have the high ground at that point. And I don't have a long reach scope, so I don't want, don't want to be missing every shot. And I have a feeling I'll do that. Okay, look okay. You have to make sure I repair this gun though. This gun is really uh Really not looking good at the moment. Got a tech spawn. Take both of those, why not? Check the medical. There is a chance for a Letic spawn, so definitely want to make sure I'm not like overlooking anything. Because if there's a Letic and I don't find it. I would be super, super sad. Yeah, don't look like there's any medical though. But there should be food inside of here. Also, I'm hoping for some beef cans. Oh, wow. Everything was taken. Okay. I don't think there's anything in there. Oop, check it. Nothing. Okay. Drink this one up at least. Anything over here? I don't really have any room for a weapon, so we'll just keep moving. And this should be the second bard over here. Oh, come on. Well, that failed. <laughs> Trying to go around it, but that's fine. Okay, we got some drinks here. That's good. Let's go see if there is armor. There's no armor, but this crate's new. Oh, it's a tech crate. All right, nice. Nothing in it. See some ammo. PS ammo. Drink that up as well. Or PSM, okay. Not 
nothing. Well, whoever came here just cleared the heck out of this place because there's nothing. Ooh, another rations case, good. And nothing. <laughs> okay. Completely empty, apparently. Got subquests, very good. First task out of the way. PP ammo, which is technically better than T ammo. I could take that. I'm gonna check this. What you got for us? Nothing of interest that I really want. Okay. Not seeing anything that I really want. How's the food situation? Uh, drop the ammo. Eat the MRE. All right, we're definitely good to go. All right, so since we didn't find what we're looking for, that's fine. We got the task we wanted done anyway. So let's start heading out. Yeah, let's start heading out. Let's get over to the outskirts and then we can move on to the next objective. We're definitely heading over to customs next. My hope is to get the bronze pocket wash done today and then most likely come back over to woods and start working on the 15 kills. But I also want to get the food done because if I can get the food part portion done for Jaeger, that's why I'm also, I really am thinking about going back to streets today because there's obviously food spawns so we can find a bunch of food there. But I'm thinking about going over there to get the food and then get Jaeger up upgraded because then you have to get the task done where you have to kill scabs without body armor on. So it would be nice to get that one finished as well. So that'll probably be the order. Most likely go over to streets, try to find some food, some other loot. And then we'll head over to customs and get the, the bronze pocket wash done. That one's going to be probably the most annoying because, let's be honest, there's probably a lot of people camping. Somebody's shooting right in front of us. See if we get eyes on, maybe. Gonna guess the other rifle. What's it got in here? FMJ. Okay. I more or less just wanted the weapon. I didn't really care about the ammo inside, but I could get myself an ADAR. It's another weapon to use for one, two. I can just load up with some other stuff. Where are you at? Just looking for any little tiny movement. There's somebody out there. Somebody lurking. I don't see you though. They probably move forward. Let's be honest. Okay, let's go. Let's get moving. We'll still obviously watch out for any players, but I gotta get moving. It's way ahead. I don't think he's shooting scabs, so if we can come up behind him and get him, that'll be good. Don't see you just yet. I mean, he could be way, way up there, though. With the way that, you know, the, echo, the echoes work for guns. I mean, it sounds like he's, like, right here. But it could be, like, you know, right there. I don't want to lose him, but I don't want to get too close. He's rocking an M4. So distance wise, I should have an advantage. Don't shoot at me, Scav. I need to be incognito. Oh, there's some press the hill. pretty far ahead of us. Nothing yet. 
trying to catch him like right before he hits the extract. Although I've lost him, so that's yeah, not good. Come on, bro. Show yourself one more time. I'm going to get moving because he may be just heading to the extract. Since he's, he skipped that scav, he, yeah, he may just be heading straight to extract. Now, if I had the PSO scope, I would have definitely gone for the, the kill there instantly because it was so close. But the chances of missing shots like this with the sight that I'm using, <laughs> pretty high. I don't think he extracted. All good. All good. We'll take our little victory, get our stuff out, complete the task, and then we can move over to streets. I think that's going to be the end of it. We're recording a little too soon, but that's fine. We did 1700 XP for that, that uh, raid. Let's get this turned in. Completed. Very nice. Get the money for that one. Get the map, which we'll never use, but we can... What? Well, I'm not even going to ask you. Probably take the other thing. Um, what do we complete here? Oh, that's right. We completed the... Just completing the map. Forgot. For extracting. Very nice. So I'm going to find the bundle of wires and a light bulb. Should be fine. We'll find it. We're level seven though. Level seven. I think it unlocks something with you. It probably does, but I probably have to go into a raid and get out. Although, I kind of worry about that. Maybe level eight, but I thought it was level seven. Either way, let's get everything offloaded. Get you all out of here. Got a bunch of ammo still. Take this. Let's get this repaired. And for now, we'll have to do money. I'll have to look at that in just a second, see what we have to do for the actual armor repair kit. I'm guessing it's the first workbench, is my guess. Get this all out. You know, let's take all these mags in. I got some extra ammo. Might as well bring a grenade in for good luck. And yeah, that should be good. All right, we're gonna head over. I said streets, and I wanted to go to streets, but we're gonna skip streets. And the main reason for that is we're going to go and get the bronze like a watch done. Let's get that there. So we're going to go get that task done because we're almost to the end of this episode anyway. So let's go get that done, shall we? Get our little reward for that one. And let's head out. Oh, we got a great spawn. Okay, good. This is very, very good. We have to go over here now and get the key first. And then we can head over to the bronze block of watch. And probably by then we're going to have some players. So got to be ready for that. Of course, we have the other option, too, where you know, there's a chance that someone's going to open it before us, which kind of would be nicer. But we can do this. Let's get a plate safe. Be ready for anyone camping it, because that's probably a really high probability. I'm not going to do anything inside here other than check the, the two jackets, and that's it. And then we're going to head over straight for the pocket watch. Go, 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 go. Second floor. Granted, we have to come back to this place a million times, but that's okay. Because we're going to have to do, like, the Zippo. We're going to have to do, gosh, the Unknown Key. That one I'm kind of worried about. I have a very, like, big feeling that someone's going to end up, like, grabbing it every single time between the raid. And so we get the spawn close by. You know, once we get that, then we're good. Okay. Got the key. Let's go. Trying to think of the best way to go. I'll just go straight ahead. Go through the hole in the wall. And then just hope someone's down the other side. Especially this early on. We could probably beat someone that's going to try to camp it. And then I mean, we have to go pretty far for the extract. So we're going to we're gonna hope that one of them, one of the extracts is open for us. Go. Really hoping for the gas station one. The gas station extracts open, that will be pretty much perfect. Got a lot of shots behind us.
I'm getting sniped at, so I'm not going to loot his body. Even though I would love that hunter. I'm getting shot at. And it's probably from the sniper. Grab that. Are right, you not fixated on me? Grab. Oh, come on. Grab these mags quickly. Okay, let's get out of here. Head towards the gas station. I think the way we're going to do that is we're going to go behind all these shipping containers and then just keep moving forward. And we got a kill, so we get a little bit of XP from that, which is what we were hoping for. Jump up here. I'm going to see if we can get a gas analyzer. There is a tech spawn right here, and luckily this one doesn't move. Of course, there's another one right in front, but we're not going for that. Come on. Nope. Not going to get lucky that, that easily, but that's fine. Let's take those two. Now we got to go check to see if the smoke's on. If it's not, then we gotta keep moving. I'm not even gonna worry about this area. I don't see anyone in the window, so I think we're clear. Come on, green smoke. Elimination quest is done. Green smoke is not on. So we're moving. So moving forward. Now the only other place that we could hope for it to be turned on is going to be just to our left. It's like the other underground area. I'm going to see if there's another scab over here I can shoot on the way around. So it doesn't look like it. I think the only thing we're really going to miss is checking to see if there's a chance for something underneath the giving tree. Oh, shit. Nope, we hadn't shot way too much. There's, there's absolutely no way. Huh? <laughs> that dude ate so many bullets. How? That's crazy. That That is like... Ouchie. Huh. With a limited amount of time we have left in the raid, I didn't want to waste too much time gearing up in the screen, so you can pause real quick. It's very minimal. I'm doing very minimum right now because I don't want to waste a ton of money on customs just because I know there's going to be a lot of people here. <laughs> like a lot of people we're going to deal with. It's a very high chance we die, so. Whoa. Network. Come on, work with us. Uh, I can go this way. I'm definitely going to have to come up with a solution because obviously we got the, you know, farther back, farther back spawn. Uh, 
lot of people fighting across the way. Well, someone won and someone lost. Guessing by the trains? I don't really know. But I also don't want this guy behind me. However, if he's going to be looting, that maybe may give me a second. Well, that looting and also healing. Yeah, let's give me a second to get ahead of him. Maybe I'll get the key and get out. Oh, we also are going to have to come back at some point because, yeah, I was right. It was level seven to unlock the extortionist. I'm not going to be able to catch him in time, so I'm going to try to get ahead of him and get the key. PvP would be fun, but it's not why we're here. Got a scab in front of us. Ooh. Plus, I think it's about to get into a fight with someone else, so... Let him fight. Food, good. Our first Tashanka. Look at that. Right, let's just, like I said, let's get ahead of him, get to the second story, get the key, and then focus on the bronze pocket watch. That's why I sometimes, I mean, I shouldn't say sometimes, this is why I would, would have preferred to spawn on the other side. Because that way I could hit up both things at the same time. But again, we go back to the whole discussion of like getting lucky with the unknown key. That's the biggest factor is whether or not we can get our hands on that. Quickly now, quickly. Key. Here we go. I need to get this one loaded up. I think it's a decent amount of ammo. Load in, load in, load in. I feel like I feel like we could run a good night map with a headlamp. Yeah, I feel like that'd be a decent, like a decent thing to do. We may we may try that. Obviously, we always like hope hope that we have like night vision and whatnot, but it'd be a horrible idea. And I did contemplate doing a night map for this gold, uh, the, for the, no, I said golden, for the bronze pocket watch. I really did. Because this house can be really, can be a really big headache. But we would have had it done. We definitely would have had it done that first custom raid, but the guy just got so lucky with the TMO, just not wanted to penetrate. It doesn't have good penetration, but he definitely got quite lucky with that. Can't search that, just waiting for my stamina to come up. Go, go, go. Alright. Lady Luck, be on our side. Hi, yay, yay. See nothing, I see nothing, I see nothing. Go.
Okay. First step done. Next step, get this thing sniper off of us. Get some stamina so we can get to our extract. Got all the shots behind us. We are going to be passing by the unknown. So I'm going to check for that key while we're on our way out. Okay. All right, sniper. I get it. I get it. You're like, get a move on there. Your episode's ending. All right, get out of here. money right there all right it's 10 rounders but I'm only keeping this just to get out reload it oh crap wrong button Body. Please, oh please, oh please be in here. Dang it. I I could really see us getting stuck on the on the task because of that. But it is what it is. Let's go. Looking clear, looking good. Stay within the boundaries. And that is gonna be the bronze pocket watch. Completed. Very nice. I'm happy about that. I definitely hit the guy by the wall a few times. It was just kind of pop shots to try to get him to push away. So it did work. We did hit him a few times. We didn't kill him, obviously. But nonetheless, we still put a good amount of shots into him. We only hit eight, eight bullets, but it's fine. 1200 XP. I'll take it. All right. Let's get this thing turned in. Get that turned in. Kapuya. Turn in. Complete. Very nice. We got delivered from the pass. Shootout picnic. We got that 15 kills. Now we got to go for the for the scavs, and uh, yeah, if we ever get a, hand, a handle on the key for the office, then we can go do that as well for the customs key. But we'll we'll just have to see how far we can get with that. I definitely know I want to get Jaeger done so we can get him pushed forward, and then of course Skier is going to be the next on our list for customs. So we have quite a bit of things to get done. Just hopefully we get that spawn close enough to get that key, because that's going to be a pain in the butt for the next couple days. But it's fine. It is what it is. I know therapist, you're good to go now in the money, which is really nice. Prep war, you're slowly but surely getting there. Peacekeeper, not even close. It's so small, look at now. <laughs> we're 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 edging our way towards the way for mechanic, the brag man. You'll get there in no time. I'll just keep buying armor from you. But I think I'm gonna call that there, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll move forward for the next episode coming up very soon. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode of the Rag to Riches series, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you enjoyed about the episode, what you're excited about for the future. If you haven't yet, subscribe, ding the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.